Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> and look at you guys are hey. here. <laughs> we are such bad actors. Horrible. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. My name is Lisa. My name is Kent, and we're living light RV, grabbing life by the tail. We are traveling through the mountains today. Yes, and we're having so much <laughs> it's fun. Good. And we're so busy traveling that we really don't have time to put together a really epic video for this week. That's so, right, actually it comes out tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So this is almost real time. So and we, tomorrow's driving too, so we've got to make it happen. Driving and visiting with friends and just really having such a wonderful week. Of course, we always want to bring you guys with us. So yes. we thought, well, let's do a live stream tomorrow night, but then we realized our schedule isn't going to work out for that. So basically this is a live stream. Yeah. This is our live stream to you traveling through living in the moment. Yes. Okay. And we, that's, yeah, living in the moment is what it's all about. So yes. that's what this looks like. No actual video for this week. This is the actual video okay, for this, this week. <laughs> like, come on. Anyway, so what do you want to talk about? Well, I want to say that the mountains are magical. Yes. Not in a, like in a, in a, in a way that it just says, this is so different. Mm. It's not what I expected. You know, that kind of thing. Every turn you take, it's like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. And we just got into the mountains. So yeah. about an hour ago, we were still on the prairies. Being swept away by the wind. Yep. And then all of Pinch a sudden, the roads just start to dip a little bit. And then now we're in the Rocky Mountain Range yep. in Southern Alberta. We're on the, in the Crow's Nest Pass. On number three. Yep. So we're almost in BC. I think we're actually right at the border. Yeah, we're pretty quick. Yeah. I think we're right at the border and there's, there's some construction, but not much. And then there's the lake on this side and the lake on that side, a waterfall over there and another lake. And we're like, this is incredible. Amazing, you guys. Like it's an oasis type of experience. Yeah. Um, we got a new toy and you guys get the benefit of that. We got a dash cam. So we might show you something. We don't know. It won't be on this video. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be some good footage from the dash cam next week when we have time to actually sit down and do some editing. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm trying to think if we had any questions recently that we need to answer. Can you think of any? Well, somebody told us that it would be really cool if Lisa could share the groceries we buy, the food we cook, and <laughs> how we store everything. Yes, so there will be a video coming up pretty soon. As you know, I am celiac, so or have celiac disease, however you want to say yeah. that. And that means my diet is very restricted. Yeah, she has a quite a reaction to this much when it comes to 20, contamination. 20 parts per 20 million. 20 parts per million starts to have a reactivity yeah. with her. So it's uh, pretty and That's intense. the gluten protein? Yes, yeah, the gluten protein, which is found in wheat, rye, and barley. But anyway, I don't want to get into the details here, but I do want you to let you guys know that I will be putting together a video on that. Yeah. And the reason for that is because we love to visit. We love to, hospitality. We love to have people over for dinner. We love to go somewhere for dinner. Uh, but it does yeah. make it really complicated for me. It doesn't make us stumble when we go to the grocery store and cook food and anything right. like that. No, no problems it's there. It's normal for us. The problem is, is when we say, hey, let's share our lives with other people. And they say, would you want some? And it's like, mm -hmm. I can't. I know, because I can get really sick really fast. Anyway, so that's why I want to do the video in order to help anyone else who's out there who's celiac to be able to say, here's a video to their friends and family. Yeah. If you want to have us over for dinner, this is what this is going to look like. And just as a tool of education to help people understand what celiac disease really is. That's not this video though, because this video yeah. is just us saying hello, encouraging you guys to get out there and live life in the moment. Sometimes it throws you for a curveball, like our schedule this yes. week. Um, some good news. Well, I'll get to the good news now or? Sure, good news is okay. always great. The good news is our premier said in Alberta, said July 1st, we're gonna be wide open. Everything's gonna be open. Everything's gonna be ready to go. Yay. Okay, so that's the good news because everybody keeps asking is the border gonna be open? We don't know about the border. Okay, um, we don't is, know about the international border. Yeah, we don't know about the international border But we do know that Alberta is signaling to all the other provinces yeah. also. Yeah. that uh, we're good Yeah, time to open up. So that's wonderful. That means that the virus is dying down and everybody is getting back to normal life So we're super excited. Do you guys about remember that. what normal looks like? I don't we're know going if back it'll there. ever go back to normal. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I know about life. I don't think we ever go back. You can never go back. We you always can go only forward. only move forward. Yeah. So you're taking the words out of my mouth. Oh, well. <laughs> They're right there. Why yeah. not? They're just like sitting there. They're you juicy. Must have it's like, I want one more. <laughs> anyway, yes. So we, d we do know that we have to just move forward in life. So we are still making plans to head yep. north. I know you guys are like, why are you going back and forth between Alberta and BC? When are you going to head north? That will be the month of August and September. We'll be yep. heading north. So for the month of June, we're going to be in British Columbia. 
Columbia. The month of July, we're going to be in the Calgary area and in the months of August and September heading north. If you want to know more of our actual itinerary yeah. for each month, a little more detailed, where we're going to be, which towns, for the hopefully the purpose of being able to meet up with some of you, you can go ahead and check that out on our Patreon page, patreon.com slash livinglightrv. For $5 a month or more if you want, uh, you can go ahead and, and access some really fun Behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes Some footage. Extra. Extra drone footage. We're going to put our itinerary up there. Um, eventually, I want to get a map of where we've been and all the places we've seen and yes. campgrounds we've stayed at. With, and, and that'll yeah. populate all the links of everything. And it's yes. just, that's going to be a, a little project. bit of a project. <laughs> so maybe a when rainy we're, day. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. No promises. Anyway. But I do want to put that together. So yeah, check out patreon.com. And I think that's about it. Daphne, uh, you want to come say hi? What are you excited come about? Say hi on these next three, four days of travel. What am I excited about? I'm excited to meet some people. We've yeah. got some, some friends that we want to meet, people we haven't really met before, and people we've met, we have met before, and meeting up with family again. So we're going to be back in the Lower Mainland here pretty quick, and we'll get to hang out with my sisters and my brother yeah. and nieces and nephews and parents and stuff. So daughter. we're excited about that. Um, yeah. Our and daughter from Africa is flying into Seattle. Oh, don't lick my knee. Oh. And she's going to be with us. Did you hear what Kendra said? Our daughter, from Africa. who's living in Africa, will be here for six weeks. We get to hang out with her and just help her with her planning her next phase of life, which is also going to be same place in Africa. She'll be yep. going back in August, which and is why... And that's why when she goes yeah. back, we go north. Yeah, exactly. So that there you go. hopefully explains our crazy everywhere kind of itinerary so far. I'm looking forward to going over the, the, the ferry tomorrow. Yes. That'll be fun. And huge lakes that I don't, I'm not Beautiful really familiar lakes. with. Yeah, like this Highway 3 that we're on is the southern route of uh, Alberta and BC. We almost yeah. always hit number one. We call it the big commute. But this is different. This is much more scenic. It's beautiful down here this so far. This is great to look around. So yeah, we're really excited to bring you guys along with us and show hey, you some awesome footage. Let's go for a walk. Alrighty, let's go. Look at that. Mastered it. <laughs> nice job, man. So. Okay, we can't, did want to film this direction because look at this mountain. But we didn't want to stand in the heat because that actually we're in a heat wave right now. It is. It's really warm. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 85 Fahrenheit and loving it. I think it's so funny. I was saying to Kent earlier that, you know, people say, oh, I want to chase 70. Yeah. And for me, I would, I would like to chase 80. I think she wants to chase I love, 80. I love 80 degrees. Is that a path up there? Let's walk up there. Okay, let's go see. All right. So guys, we just want to bring you with us, what season else, six, living in the moment. Um, oh my gosh, uh, that's, a, that's a good question. What do you guys talk about when you're on a road trip? When you're in the motorhome or the truck and you're driving for hours and hours, what kind of things do you guys talk about? We like to rant about politics. Yeah. Politics and religion are usually the two topics we talk about. <laughs> yeah, they get, they get uh, beaten up. Um, yeah, and we just like dreaming you know we like planning. meeting with people and having their getting their stories getting their interactions yeah that's true yeah, yeah. thinking about videos thinking so, about what to bring next to yeah, living light rv exactly lots of plans anyway Ooh, look think. at the prints down here the horses oh no no no, no no that is that's, uh either deer or or, or potential elk definitely not moose elk. yeah deer and elk nice this is gorgeous out here guys I am so glad that camping season is opening wide Yay. up so fast. I'm, this is great. I'm also glad that the restrictions are being lifted. If you don't know, the Calgary Stampede is a go this year. I think it'll look different. It'll have lots of rules and restrictions and uh, health restrictions, but they are planning on opening it. So unfortunately, the international border is still closed. So right. our American friends can't come up. So I'm not sure if we're going to go to the Stampede or not. I don't think it's going to work out with our schedule so tell biden that uh you want the american border to open up so canadians can come down yeah. that will actually open the canadian border so that americans yeah. can come up it just will Daphne, come they here. work hand in hand Daphne, come on. anyway you know what i think we need to hit the road here pretty quick so we're not where are we heading to up with our friends we're heading up to fort steel bc fort steel is actually where we stayed the one of our very first nights of full-time rv life that's right I'll and it was boondocking you'll link to the video to that here right that was excellent yeah Okay, so he'll link it in the cards. The I'll put salmon in. were running. Yeah, Hang the on, bears. I'll... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, we'll put it in the card up here. I'll link it in the description below. And now you can talk about it. <laughs> there you go. No, I don't need to talk about it because I we already you can go watch the video. But it was boondocking for the first time. It was awesome. Anyway, was we're like... headed to Fort Steele. 
we got to get going and yes. we will see you guys next Thursday. Go grab life by the tail, live in the moment. Take care. We got to get back on the road. Let's go.